プロペラ <laughs> oh, this is kind of weird for me. It's a new game. Weird. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to the Shadows of Pagalmilia. Pagalium? Whatever. My name is Ace Styles157. And yeah. Uh, this game is, um, yeah, I don't know nothing about it, but yeah. I'll just talk while, while the music just cuts, okay. But uh, yeah. I don't know what really this game is about. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Oh, I don't know anything. No, I don't know anything about this game. Yeah, I don't know anything. All I know is this game is coming out on the 24th of February, and it was on Twitter, and it was, uh, well, you saw the thing at the beginning, because I can't remember. Short memory. But anyway, I'm going to test out this game, and maybe if y'all like it, or if I like it, I'll like buy it when it comes out and make a series on it for right now I got the demo of it so yeah let's get into this I guess I don't know if it I guess that answered my question oh my bad where do we come from where do we go where do we come from Cotton Eye Joe sorry so many things as eons pass. I guess it's narrated in Japanese and stuff, so I'll have to be quiet. The bustle of the city, the images running across its colossus screen video screens, the crowds flooding its intersections. All those things and more. The rivers of time flowed on without me without me pursuing its uneery course while I sat on the river bottom like a motionless stone men and women passed through my time like water vapor quick to vanish leaving only vestiges of themselves soon I stood alone ooh look at the feet on an empty intersection. I'm just imagining freaking uh Green Day. I walk a lonely road. No. Where do we come from? Ah, freaking Japanese narration it's so slower. Where do we come from? Where do we go? Again with Cotton Eye Joe. Commuters holding onto train straps man reading a newspaper, a woman checking her cell phone messages, a grade schooler playing on a handheld. On a handheld? Okay. I was a part of the world, and yet not subject to it. I'm bound to the world around me. I merely observed it. What are you? I guess we're a god. The, cha the train accelerated. Carriage. Carriage blurring into nothingness before me. I stood alone inside of it. It stretched out before me like a long tunnel. Ha! <laughs> you didn't get me this time. Where do we come from? Where do we go? Loneliness. I never felt lonely. I was both a part of the world and also its entirety. But I changed. Whoa! Okay. I heard the wind blowing over the harbor bridge as I stood on the gar guardrail and looked to the sky. I saw the blue winter sky with fluffy patches of cotton candy scattered by Weather's hand. An 
an airplane streaking past beyond them. I watched the sky impassively. How many times are they gonna say this? Where do we come from? Where do we go? I was tra transgressing against the world. This was the limit of my individuality. Individuality. For so long I had forgotten mine. Ten years. Twenty years? No longer. This was the only way to break the curse of eternity. I slowly leaned forward. My view arched downwards until the river appeared. I saw people on the banks looking up at me. Men, women, girls, boys. The eyes widened in shock and they screamed. My sense of weight disappeared and the wind began to, to scream in my ear. My shirt bulged like a sail and the wind whipped the, the hem, hem of my skirt against my leg. The cold gleam of the river rushed toward me with frightful intensity, but I also beheld a different world at the same time. What the heck is going on? What is happening here? Wings of steel dove through the cover to descend on the streets in the hollow of moonlight. The densely packed skyscrapers drew closer. I saw the building flat as a mirror, with countless national flags in front. The scenery encompassed me, wrapped around my vision. What the heck? Is, is this like a terrorist attack? What the heck is going on? At the speed of sound, I moved through the world, the river below slowly approaching. Both worlds blended into each other, moving and overlapping. Let me guess. Yeah. The U.S. Why is it just the U.S.? They don't even say airspace. When I hit that, I would disappear and be myself again. Oh my Jesus. Time passed so slowly. Was this when one would normally see one's life flashing by like a flipbook? Sadly, the moment was empty for me. I had no memories of yesterday to recall. The river approached. Okay, the, I, I, your voice sounds pretty and all, but you keep on repeating the same stuff, so it's kind of getting annoying. That is the forbidden spell, the question that ends the world. I didn't yet know the answer. Someone. Tell me. Yeah, I think that was a bomb. What the? The crimson blaze and the cold impact of the water struck me. Simultaneously, the world froze and splintered apart like a broken mirror. A large flock of white birds took flight, wings flapping. What the heck just happened? I don't. What? What? LCD screen lined the shop windows. Images of the United of the United Nations HQ, New York. A fighter plane had buried itself in the ground out front, heavily damaged. Here you can see the effects of the suicide attack late last night on the UN headquarters in Manhattan, New York. At the scene of, at the scene, a female CNN reporter was speaking to the camera. A soldier reached out to block the lens. Schoolgirls passed by the countless screens, laughing. 
cell phones rang in pockets in bags cell phone straps shook and jingled girl hands hands more hands cell phones LSDs Message, messages flew back and forth posts on social media letters and whispers waft through the city it's kind of weird the stopping points like the periods and stuff hey did you hear that did you hear I read about it on the internet. There are some, some weird rumors about the terrorist attack yesterday. Okay, if they're gonna just be speaking, I'll just let it happen. Of course they want it under wraps, it's the government. Hmm. あのね、あのね。先輩の友達から聞いた話なんだけど。去年の夏に鎌倉で車で人をはねちゃったんだって。鎌倉。鎌倉。ああ。トンネルの中で誰も見てなかったから一度は逃げたんだけど、やっぱ
Don't have to be eaten dead. Jeez. Yeah, y'all care now. The day before, a girl in her school uniform had jumped from the Yoko, Yokohama Bay Bridge, or so the rumor went. To us, it was more immediate a, event than terrorism from a, across the globe. Listening as, absently to the conversation of my three friends, I looked out the window. My mind drifted into fog. Sometimes I see the world through the milky glass of the dreams. The students and teachers moving about the school grounds appear like puppets to me. A million threads of descent from the crimson sky connecting to their arms and legs. Dreams like that. Mike, so you're telling me a girl just jumped off a bridge and, like, I guess died, like, yesterday for them? Then what was that all about, like, the U.S. Air Force Space? It's like, midday, warning, warning. Worst American <laughs> ever. Whatever. Suddenly, drops struck my cheek. <gasps> <laughs> Why was that dramatic? Whoa. While I was from my reverie, reverie, I realized that my friend Makoto had squirted me with soft drink from her straw, followed by a sharp glare. Hey, it's not my fault. I don't want to be talking about some girl who apparently jumped off a bridge. I yawned a little. I yawn a lot in my videos. Yeah, see, that's what I do. She's... I like Mina. Hmm, telekinesis. Yeah. So, so, Mina no Yashi no Yuri Dokoro da Munne. See, look. Look at that. How are you being so mean to me? Jesus. Koto put her fist on the table again and protested. You don't look grown up either. Like, so what is it? See, they don't even believe you. Makoto,いつだってみなっちが最優先だもんね。みんなのためならこのみも投げ出す。絶対マコトのみないはやばいって。she probably has a lesbian love for her. Uh? Uh? Yeah, you heard me. Mina, <laughs> Mina,二人きりの時は気をつけた方がいいよ。お前さん、マコト15歳の手が、そっと親友の恥を磨き分かり、その手がブラウスのボタンを一つ外し、二つ外し、みんなの胸元へすると。What is this a freaking visual novel? I mean, it is, but come on. <laughs> Ozawa Makoto, 15. Kya! Kya! What was that? Uh, man, she's serious now. With two thumbs, her fist descended on their heads. I never understood that. Like, if you punched me in the head, it's going down. You don't think it just bought me in the head, and I'm like, oh, it hurt. I'm gonna punch you back. I went symp sympathetically. That must have hurt quite a bit. Eat that. Yep. I chuckled. <laughs> yeah. Makoto, Kana, and Rika froze and looked at me. I saw annoyance rising in their eyes. Oh no. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't somebody just daydream if y'all not even you know, who wanted to be talking about oh, you know someone died yesterday? It's like oh nice I became nervous under their glares. Uh, oh my Jesus I lowered my head in penance. Now it was their turn to chuckle. We always spent our time like this after school. Before long, we were alone with the setting sun in our classroom. It was our first winter in high school. Next year, we would have different classes 
and the thought lay heavy on my heart. Karaoke. Oh, any boys? Nah, no, this is all lesbian love, girls. Come on. Nobody, because you know plot. I saw them look through their address book on their phones. I felt sorry. Really did. <laughs> yeah, Mina's that loner. Yeah. Slowly I rose from my seat. Oh, God. That's how it works for Mina, bitch. Nah, she's a loner. Folded my arms, my hands in my front of. I folded my hands in front of my chest in apology. So amazing. Assume my seat. Where? Bitch, where? Nah, what did I just tell you? This is strictly lesbian love. Okay. Uh oh. She probably would. The way you're acting right now, she probably would. <laughs> you're going to a girl? Spill those beans, girl. Well, I guess we'll spill the beans in the next episode. Because <laughs> I guess I'll finish the demo and then. I'll probably buy the game because this seems very interesting. I actually like it. Like the art, anime, style, you know, always. But yeah, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like this, of course. You know, it would be great support for my channel. <laughs> uh, go follow me on Twitter. No, wait. Leave me a comment. Uh, leave a comment if you want any suggestions or anything. I'm already getting ahead of myself, you know. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. The link for that will be in the description down below. You know, send me some stuff I could do maybe on Twitter. You know, private message me or something like that. And subscribe to see more of my content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>